Hey guys, it's Nikki Beck. I'm back with Laura's Legacy, and this is my ultimate, huge, enormous, bigger than ever Dollar Tree craft haul. I don't think I've ever done one this big. So I'm going to jump in and get started right away. If you are new to my channel, though, welcome. And I'm trying to get better about uploading videos. Hit the subscribe button so that you're notified when I do upload and hit the like button if you do like this bu this button. <laughs> if you like this video, I have questions for you guys, so be prepared for them. All right, so I'm going to start out with the books that I found. Like, I love like how-to books and things like that. I don't know that I would ever use or do anything with some of these things in here. I'm just going to kind of flip through and show you. Like, this is complicated, but gives you some ideas of things. And I just thought it was so cute. Some of the things on there were just adorable. And I don't think there's a price on this one. Nope, I don't see a price on it. But yeah, still a dollar. Okay. Lace bows ribbons and bows okay so 35 images vintage inspired not not 35 images Ooh. i love vintage okay so you get the idea but wow for a dollar this one was 21.95 I can't whistle at all, guys. How to photograph children. Secrets for capturing the childhood magic moments. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to open this book. I cannot wait to open this book. Yeah. All right. I'm going to dive right in to like sticker paradise. All right. So here we go. I had to get these guys. For one second, I thought that was a half-eaten donut. I'm pretty sure that's a cat. Looks like a half-eaten donut, though. I don't know. I'm just saying, guys. Look at these. Kitty, kitty. The spaceship donut. How creative. I got two of those. Um, the owls. Some butterflies. This does not have a donut on it, but totally my favorite one. So cute. Some random spaceships things I figured. I don't know. Who knows? I just saw them and like they instantly like fell in my cart. Okay. These are the foil letters. I'm not a fan of rub on, but you know. I could try to figure something out. The gold foiled ones. This is another silver set that I bought. And this one is more glittery. Um, felt numbers. I didn't realize when I picked it up it was numbers. But these are the letters. So these are numbers. Like I need that many numbers. I don't know. <laughs> I'm crazy. These kitty cats are just the cutest things. Even though I'm highly allergic to them, I still thought they were so stinking cute. They're puppies. All right. Let me see. Tell me, people. What are you going to use these craft clamps for? I'm trying to think. I know that there is something you use them for, but I can't think of what at the moment. But I just thought, okay, I'm going to get it anyway. Glue and residue eraser. These little chalkboard. I'm going to pull the back off, the clothespin back off of it, and use just the actual, like, chalkboard for one of Jet's kindergarten, like, school days. I think it was, like, kindergarten. I was, I'm doing his kindergarten. He's in seventh grade, going into seventh grade. I'm a little behind. Okay, so these little chalk tags, cute. Detailed scissor, I'm telling you, these are the best. And I think I bought a pair at Michael's once for like six bucks. All right. 
I'm always forgetting to bring my piercing and scoring tool set whenever I go scrapbooking. I continuously forget and I have to borrow for, from somebody. Okay, question people. The finger protectors. I think I've used these in sewing before. But what else would I use this for? I cannot think of what I would use this for. Huh. Comment, please, down below. Help a sister out. What are these for? I've used it in sewing, like almost like a thimble or something. I don't know what these are for. Help. Some glue sticks. Pop dots. Glitter glue. Look how enormous these are. The little tiny ones from Michael's are like six bucks. These little mini glass container jars. Oh my God, they're so cute. They had these in like a million different sizes. And I was like, Ugh. so here's a vintage type, not vintage, um, a chalk writer. I got some, uh, this I thought was too cool. So it's an embossing stylist. I think you could probably use that to pierce something too. Lord knows, don't do it to yourself. These markers, I picked up two of blue. I'm telling you, I don't even know what it is. I just see it and I grab it. Another chalk writer. Okay, um, these little reusable, like, I need to go get another one of these because there's 20 in here, but these are perfect for so many different things. You could even put something in it and then put it in a scrapbook, like page, like that you collected something that you don't want like falling all over the page. I found this crucifix that I thought was so pretty. Um, wood, so you paint it. I was thinking to put Rue's name on it or doing something for Jet for it. He misses his baby so much. Um, okay, I could not resist this. Like you can get the bigger ones for a dollar, like, you know, whatever. But this is like mini size, tiny, tiny little pencil set. And I thought this is so cute. I would honestly just stick this inside of a scrapbook. Little three dimensional. All right. How cute is this? The little donut, the avocado candy. Oh, I was in heaven. All right, guys, I'm just going to lay it all out. This fine glitter. Look at these colors. Am I done? No. It's like a pinkish red almost. This is very red though. And then the last one is this beautiful purple. Okay. Come on. Wow. All right paint. Lord in heaven, this is huge. For a dollar? For Jet's projects that he has to do. So I got green, blue, orange, white, brown, and black. I need to find yellow and I need to find pink. I think that would like complete the color wheel. Let me see. Red. I'm missing red. All right. Help me out with this, guys. This is just so confusing to me. I just don't understand this. All right. Yarn. But that word is worst. What is worst did? What? Is that like a name of something? Is it like, I don't even know. All right. So they had this color. White. Pretty yellow, green, this purple is really pretty, and then pink. That, don't, that looks weird. No, it's not pink. It's red. Duh. Okay. But what is that? What in the world is that? Someone, please help me with that. I don't understand. Okay. I need your advice, guys. I picked this up last year. I picked up a few of these. They're eyeglass pouches, but... Besides sunglasses, glasses, what could you put in there? Like, I'm trying to, there's a million things that you could put in here, but what? I don't get very creative when it comes to that. Like, I can't figure out what in the world I would 
put in there. Oh, forgot a color. Isn't that pretty? Oh, for a dollar? I was freaking out. All right. Couldn't resist those. Not part of the craft thing, but still. How cute are these? Oh my god. Okay, so that's what I have for you. I'm going to throw in a couple things I that are not craft related, but this could end up being like a DIY. All right, this apple. It is huge. But guys, like seriously, you could put like a teacher's name on there or something and give it as a gift. I don't know. I just thought, wow. All right. Have you guys seen these? Bloom where you are planted. These glasses are so cute. I could see the using this for like a little, just like a planter, like not a planter, but like putting flowers in it. I picked up two and then I found this local and fresh. They had a couple different ones with some cows and like something else. And then they had a pink version of this, but you could put a succulent in that. You can just, I mean, how cute is this? DIY it with something like this is a succulent, but it just doesn't look right. Does it? I don't know. You guys tell me. So many things to comment on. But this is like a mint, soft, pale mint green. Did I show the orange? I don't remember because they're all falling all over the place. But, uh-huh. Okay. And then, last... The donut candle. What? They had a cookie one and an ice cream one. And I did not really care for the smell of it, this one. It's not bad, but it doesn't smell like a donut. It smells like ice cream, I think. Something like vanilla ice cream maybe or something. But the container was so cute. I should go get the ice cream one. And the other one, just because the containers are so cute. Yeah, too adorable. So, questions. What in the world does that mean? What can I put inside this besides glasses? And the rubber fingers. The finger protector. What am I going to use these for? I don't know. I do not know. But that is my craft haul. And guys, it was phenomenal. All right, guys. You have a wonderful day. I've missed you guys. Um, I really, really, really want to try to upload some video, more videos. Oh, I forgot this. Just a little pad of paper. But oh my god. They had this design last year and I loved it. So sip back and relax. Okay, guys, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this weekend. And I will see you in another video. I don't know when and I don't know what it will be, but I miss you guys. Comment down below. Also, comment on what your favorite item was. What was it that you liked that I hauled the best? There you go. Okay. Huge hugs from Indy. Bye, guys.